Deep venous thrombosis is when a person develops blood clots within one or more of the major veins within the body. They typically happen in the lower extremities or the major veins which are draining the lower extremities. It's a fairly common problem and it happens in about 600,000 people uh, within the United States every year. The most common symptom is uh, swelling of the lower extremity. And this can happen instantly or over a, a few days. Other findings that the patient uh, may experience is uh, pain in the leg and also increasing uh, redness in the affected uh, leg is a common thing that can happen. Now, the interesting thing is some patients, they don't develop swelling in the legs and what happens is some of the, these blood clots can travel directly to the lungs, and this can cause what's called a pulmonary embolism, is when one of the blood, flow, blood clots actually blocks the blood clot to the lungs, and the patients then can present with a severe shortness of breath, chest pain, and some, in some patients, the, the first presentation is uh, they may actually die from those clots. The interesting thing about the deep venous thrombosis is it can be easily diagnosed with a simple ultrasound of the legs, which can be done in a few minutes and does not involve any radiation to the patients. Uh, in some more complicated cases, when the blood clots develop more within the pelvis or within the abdomen, then we may need more complicated tests like a CAT scan or an MRI uh, of these areas to detect the blood clots. The standard treatment for these blood clots is the use of blood thinners, which is proven to stabilize the blood clot with, and preventing them from getting bigger and from traveling to the lungs. However, it does not necessarily dissolve the blood clots. And we know that these blood clots staying in there, uh, in about a third of people, they can cause significant long-term problems in the lower extremities, including new episodes of DVTs, and chronic swelling in the legs, which may be devastating in some people. More recently, we've been more aggressive in treating these blood clots with the idea that if we remove these blood clots earlier, this will prevent these long-term problems. And fortunately, nowadays, we have these very advanced and unique devices, which uh, through a small catheter, we can get the catheter into the vein and remove all these blood clots in a matter of a few minutes, which basically will return the veins to their normal condition and prevents the long-term damages. There are several types of technologies that are used to treat these blood clots, including the clot busters and including catheters that are able to break and suck the clot out. We're lucky to work with Dr. Fogarty, who was actually the inventor of the trellis device, which is one of these devices that, ca that helps macerating and removing these blood clots. And the good thing about working at El Camino Hospital, where we have all these technologies available, is that we're really able to choose the best technology for, to treating each specific patient. The risk factors for the deep venous thrombosis includes uh, patients who have been traveling for long periods of time, patients who work uh, in sitting position for long periods of time, birth control pills, patients when they went recent surgery, and patients with cancer. I think anybody who develops a, a new uh, swelling in the legs, especially if it's a, a, a you know, most importantly, if it's a, one of the legs, should seek immediate medical attention, either through their regular doctor or they should seek an emergency room.